Hi everybody, my name is Elisa Bernstein. And I'm Stephen Leckie. And this is Vox Talks. Today we are going to look at Canadian politicians. We're going to analyze their speaking skills. I said in my opening speech when the writ dropped back September 7th that Canadians needed to wake up and see that this was democracy and that democracy itself was at risk in the cynical manipulations of the political moves of other parties. Another one of our political leaders, Elizabeth May, has many of the same problems in the political speech. Well, it's, it's another disembodied voice here. We have somebody who just speaking one thought after the other. They all sound the same. This is somebody, like all of them, who's very passionate about what they represent. And it's not coming through. And that's unfortunate because this is a passionate platform and it's an environmental platform, something that we really want to get on board with. And it's very important that that leader actually inspire us with that type of energy. This speech needs to be energized. And how do we do that? We just don't say energized. Exactly. Elizabeth? Well, you've got to get the body involved, number one. Right. That's what I'd say. Uh, I totally agree. Interestingly, after complaining about politicians that are constantly rolling from side to side or chanting from side to that. side, there is no liberation here whatsoever from line to line. And liberation is the word. Movement liberates something new, new energy. They have the right idea when they're moving. They know that they're looking for some kind of liberation, yes. some kind of freedom. So basically when we look at her, she's making the classic mistake of the podium. Her weight, a lot of her weight is positioned, is literally perched on the podium. So move slightly back from the podium. The hands, you can stay there because it's nice to have the hands here. I have my hands here and I feel good about my hands in this area because they can actually gesticulate. But stay away, a little bit away from the podium. Get the mic arranged so that it works for that free movement. Because staying as she is in one position on the podium, it is restricting any kind of change. We call it development, any kind of change. These thoughts are all different and yet they're coming across all the same. Just a simple move mm -hmm. from the left foot to the right foot with the next thought will create a different development in the voice and that eventually will radiate down into the tone. And the tone represents an emotional commitment to what you're doing. So get it that way if necessary, but get that emotional tone happening. 